March Madness. Let it begin. Unfortunately, there's not going to be a lot of um, video of charter stuff, but we're going to try something new this uh, trip, and that is we're going to give I'm going to give some reviews of anchorages that uh, we stop at, the do's and don'ts, the likes and dislikes, uh, so on and so forth. But so let's head on down to the keys for March Madness. Hi, I'm Scott, and I'm Holly. And this is the space between. Hey, 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 I'm on vacation every single day because I love my occupation. Hey, 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 I'm on vacation every single day, every, every single day. Everybody sour like a lemon tree. I'm just smiling down upon my enemies. Do the shit and love it on a daily. Say you hate your job, but you'll never leave. Never leave with that. So our first stop was Marathon. We made the long run all the way down and here's an overview of Boot Key. So let's get things started on the outside. We do have an anchorage just on the west side. It's got great holding. Um, I try to get as close to the canal as possible. There's a little fishing boat traffic but it's great and calm in anywhere from north to southeast winds. So let's talk about the entrances to Boot Key. We've got the main channel and Sisters Creek. Now the main channel carries about six feet in this skinny spot right here. But once you get past that, everything's pretty good. You've got a few fuel stations here and here, and a couple places to eat along the way. Now there's a little bit of an anchorage right before you get to the bridge. Now, as you can see on the maps, it shows the bridge carrying a horizontal clearance of 55 feet. Well, that's not the case. Um, Back at the last hurricane, Irma, the uh, power lines were taken down uh, by the storm and have not been replaced. And last I heard, they had no intentions of replacing them. But obviously, keep an eye out because uh, if you've got a mass like mine, 55 feet, is not going to cut this entrance. Now for Sisters Creek, this entrance is a moving sandbar and can carry four feet at low tide. So make sure you go in at high tide if you're anything greater than four. After that, the channel's pretty deep and pretty open uh, until you get into the actual uh, mooring field. And there's a few places you want to pay attention to. One is here, and the other is this shoal that goes down there. Stay in that channel. Otherwise, you're going to go aground, and it's going to make for a bad day. Now, you can cut around the front side of the rock, or you can even go around the back side of the rock right close to it within about 50 yards. Just watch your watercolors. You'll see it. Now that we've made it into the mooring field, you can see areas 1, 2, and 3, those are your shoals. Not places that people just didn't feel like anchoring in. As you can see, there's two types of moorings here. 45 foot max and 60 foot max. There's only about 16 mooring balls for the 60 footers. And while the balls are first come, first serve, I would call ahead if you've got a vessel larger than 45 feet. To check in, the Marathon Marina is here, and they offer both water boats and pump out services. This is also the dinghy dock where you can get ashore and pay for your mooring balls. Heading north down Vaca Key, there's a channel that goes all the way into the back and at the very end of that channel is another anchorage. It's very shallow, usually full, but it's free. If you continue on up the channel, there's a hard right turn, there's a couple other canals, but at the very end is a pretty well kept secret. Hi guys, today we are at Yacht Haven Marina in Marathon, Florida. This is a new marina that just got opened up. Let's have a look. So, this place is really nice. Um, as you can see, they put in the tech deck. They have spared no expense. They've got the nice pedestals. They've got plenty of room here. I mean, just in particular, you could probably get a cat about 35 feet in beam in here. Nice, big, wide slips. Beautiful place. The turn down there might be a little tricky for you, but it's manageable. They're not quite open yet, but the proprietor here, Alan, was very nice and very accommodating. Let us come in. The mooring balls were full. The city marina was full. The outer marina gas was full. Um, but he took pity on Holly. and. Uh, let us come in here. Publix is right across the street. Literally, we could walk to it. Um, 
We've got a Home Depot here in Marathon. They've got a West Marine down there in Marathon. It's one of the smaller West Marines. A secure gate entrance. They're gonna have a pool and a laundry area. I mean, honestly, this place is nice. So let's rate it. Access to this place, I gave it a four and a half because of uh, one little turn at the end and the channel's a little narrow. Amenities, it gets five. This thing, this place has everything, and there's a Publix right next door, and everything's within walking distance. As far as friendliness goes, these guys go out of their way to make you feel at home. Cleanliness? Seriously? This place is immaculate. Security? Another five. As far as affordability goes, they are on the higher end of the market, but in my opinion, they're worth every penny. So Yacht Haven, with a total of 4.75 stars, I can't recommend this place enough. Good job, guys. We came home from the sea turtle hospital to find a manatee hanging out with a foobard paw. Show us your paw, buddy. It's got fishing line wrapped all around it. We called the FWC. And I think they may be here. Maybe. You can see it, it's all blown up and he's got a net or some sort of fishing line tied all around it. You flipped over and showed us before, I'll show you a picture. Have we named him? Potato. Potato. We're not real sure what happened to Potato. He was still there when we left and we called everybody that we could find that had anything to do with marine mammals. I hope he gets the help he deserves. So let's talk about the city of Marathon for a second. It's got an international airport. Sombrero Beach is a beautiful beach. And zooming in on the east end of town where Yacht Haven is, you've got the Publix. There's a Wendy's, of course. The Hurricane Bar and Grill is one of our favorites there. You've got a Home Depot. And on the trendier side, you've got the Florida Keys Steak and Lobster House. It's a little expensive, but worth it to me. The Stuffed Pig is another local hangout. And continuing west, we've got one of our favorites, the Turtle Hospital. These folks over here are doing great work conserving our sea turtles. Next to that, we've got Seven Mile Pizza, my favorite pizza place in Marathon. And a little further to the west, we've got Lazy Days South. Great family atmosphere, wonderful food, and you can watch the sun go down. And last but not least on this list is the Sunset Grill. This has got to be one of my favorite hangouts. It's got a swimming pool plenty of nightlife and the food is just off the wall. Now let's take a look at Marathon's mooring field. With only 16 or possibly 18 moorings for boats in excess of 45 feet, the rest of the mooring field is pretty much open to you if you're under 45. Moorings are on a first come first serve basis and you check in here at the City Marina. Boot Key is an eclectic mix of everything from sailboats to trawlers with people from all around the world, each with their own story to tell. So let's dive right in. As far as access and holding goes, well access is pretty straightforward and holding, you're on a mooring ball. And the Boot Key Marina is full of amenities. They've got a laundry, they've got brand new showers, they've got a common area where you can watch TV, they've got booths where you can edit your videos, and free Wi-Fi right there at the marina. The people are amazingly friendly and the more you get to know them, the more you'll learn to love them. The harbor is clean. Some days you can see all the way to the bottom and the facilities are super clean. They've got great security and affordability. Seriously, 24, 25 bucks a day and even cheaper for month long. So to sum it all up in a nutshell, Marathon Booth Key is a great place to reprovision, to do repairs, to hang out. Just don't get stuck in the vortex. So with Yacht Haven and Marathon in her wake, we headed for Bahia Honda State Park. So Bahia Honda is located just south of Marathon and just north of Big Pine. It has this very straightforward approach through the missing section of the old train bridge. Now that we're on the inside, let's have a little closer look at this anchorage. While the chart depths are fairly accurate, what they don't tell you is that this is a pool table. The further you get offshore, the better you're holding. I like to anchor right in here. You can snorkel over to the Deep Cut Canal, which has got some pretty good little sea life next to it. It's starting its own little coral reef. You can swim over to the beach, 
or you can hit right up next to the bridge. There's some holes over there that sometimes have some pretty neat little critters in them. So let's rate it. As far as access and holding goes, well, the holding is very poor. Access is pretty straightforward, but I don't think that I would stay here overnight again with that six knot current. Amenities. There aren't any. It's a state park. There's one little snack bar up by the beach, but other than that, that's about it. However, the staff is really friendly, the park is super clean, and the security? Well, that's park rangers. They've got gotcha. you. Affordability? It's free. Until you step foot on land, and then they can charge you an entrance fee. It hasn't happened to us yet, but I have talked to other cruisers that have had it done. So all in all, it's a solid four stars. We love Bahia Honda. It's a nice place to visit. Like I said, I'm not real sure I would stay there again overnight. That current is ripping. Don't forget to join us next week as we head to Key West and we have a run-in with the Navy. Yes, the Navy.